Hey friends, thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Val. Greg has the night off. We start with our WAFBI team and the big story we've been following all evening. Four Baton Rouge police officers will have their day in court following criminal charges from a special grand jury. Among them, a former deputy chief who was once the number two officer in the department. Here's lead investigator Scotty Hunter. Four officers now face formal charges tied to potential corruption within the Baton Rouge Police Department. A special grand jury made the decision just hours ago. Can you speak to the seriousness of these indictments, particularly when you have people that are concerned that the law may or may not apply fairly to everybody regardless of your position? Yeah, um, well, as I said, these, these people, some more than others because of the, uh, how long they've been in the business, have been around all of us and in really high positions have made a lot of really valuable cases here in Baton Rouge and have been outstanding officers. But despite that, uh, if you do something wrong and it violates the law and the evidence is there, then we have a job to do as well. Former Deputy Chief Troy Lawrence Sr. and officers Todd Thomas, Doug Schutz, and Martel Jackson all face charges related to malfeasance in office and obstruction of justice after being accused of beating a man in their custody inside of a bathroom at BRPD's first district. A fifth officer, Jesse Barcelona, was cleared in the case. In these internal documents related to the case, Officer Jackson blew the whistle on the alleged actions, saying officers beat that man in their custody, then worked together to get rid of the body camera that captured the beating and hide the evidence. This is not an indictment on the Baton Rouge Police Department. It is what happened on this night four years ago. This has nothing whatsoever to do with the Brave Cave. This is a completely isolated incident. While District Attorney Hiller Moore says this has nothing to do with the Brave Cave, the allegations came to light amid the WAFBI team's reporting into more than a dozen complaints of alleged abuse inside the infamous facility, and this alleged beating and cover-up all went down just steps away from it. Moore says the decision comes after the special grand jury was convened and spent more than a month weighing the case. He says they brought in outside prosecutors to handle it and ensure everything was above board. And I needed someone that was going to de devote their entire time every day for the last several months to this case to make sure we got it right for all involved. One of the officers could face a maximum of 25 years behind bars if convicted, but it's possible none of the officers will face time in prison as their criminal cases move forward. Moore says the special grand jury was shown a lot of evidence connected to the case and, in a rare move, even heard from the defense in the case before reaching a decision. As the case now heads to trial, Moore wants to ensure the public these officers will not be granted any special treatment. It's not going to be handled any differently because they are Baton Rouge police officers. Though they have the same rights as anyone else has. Now, both the mayor and the BRPD chief put out statements shortly after those indictments came down. You can read them in full right now in the iTeam section of the Nine News app. Liz.